Hi there everyone, it's Misty here. Welcome to my weigh-in and update video for January 22nd, 2020. My eyelashes and I are glad that you could join me today. <laughs> I've been using castor oil. It's real happen. Actually, I really have been using castor oil um, on my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and my hair. I haven't noticed a difference yet, but it's been like five days. So, I'll keep you updated. So, hi. Hello. You may see that I have a little bit more energy than I did in last week's video when I had a men mental breakdown on camera. <laughs> I am feeling so much better. I don't want to jinx it, but my sciatica has stopped completely. Um, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what caused it. I did change my anti-inflammatory. Um, I think I mentioned in that video that I've been taking Meloxicam. What I normally do is I take Meloxicam like through the spring and the summer when I don't deal with as much inflammation. And then in the fall and the winter, I sometimes switch to Diclovenac. And I hadn't done that yet, but I went ahead and did it. And that might have been the answer. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about the weekend numbers and then I'll update you guys on what happened at the wound care clinic if you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram. And I think I posted it on the community tab as well. So let's start with blood sugars. So last week I know, and I'll put these up on the screen, but last week I know that my, um, my ketones were 0.4. Um, my 7-day average was 151, my 14-day average was 161, and then my 30-day average was 161. So today, I'm happy to report that my 7-day average is 144, my 14-day average is 147, and then for some reason, my 30-day average went up 1, and it's 162. So my blood sugars are continuing to come down. I'm so excited about that. That is the whole point of this whole charade, charade, whatever you want to call it. And not only that, but last week I started taking 80 units of insulin at night instead of 100 or instead of 90. So since January 1st, I've gone from 100 units of insulin every night to 80 insulin units of insulin every night and my blood sugars have con consistently lowered now my weight went up um last week i was 400 this week i'm 402 but i've mentioned in the last couple of videos that <laughs> i've gotten like three different weights and i've been taking the lowest weight so it could be that but we also got a cold front and the inflammation as i was talking about can't i will swell and i don't it's kind of really hard to tell um, but this, these two fingers, I have the, my, I d developed rheumatoid arthritis, if you didn't know that. I also have osteoarthritis, which is just regular old arthritis. But, um, my left hand is where it's the worst and it's these two fingers. And this, I don't know that I'll ever be able to wear a wedding ring again, but this one stays hella swollen. And I was really swollen when I woke up this morning. If you don't, the barometric pressure, people don't, people believe that's a myth. It is the God's honest truth. Like I, I always thought my grandmother was crazy when she would say, oh, you know, a cold front's coming. I could tell a cold front's coming <laughs> with her body. And I'm, and I turned 39 and I'm like, holy crap, I can detect the weather with my body. So uh, my inflammation's up a little bit and I'm not the least bit concerned about that weight because um, my blood sugar's coming down and... My size 28 jeans fit. I don't have to lay down, I don't have to suck in to zip them. They fit just fine. And I have every, like I know by next Wednesday, those jeans are gonna be too fit, big. I can just feel it in my bones. And I'm so excited to do my measurements because um, I lost a shit ton in inches when I first, very first started doing keto back in 2017. So, yeah, so there was a little bit of controversy with my um, weekly dinner video I posted on Monday, and I I just wasn't in the mood to deal with shit comments that day, so I deleted them. I deleted the video, and then I decided, someone's like, just turn off the comments. I was like, okay, I'll do that. Here's the thing. I share our weekly dinners just to kind of give you an idea. You don't have to eat what I eat. You don't have to eat as much as I eat. You don't have to critique what I eat. I eat what I want. I am eating intuitively. So I eat when I'm hungry and I don't when I'm not. So some days, like Sunday, that's one meal a day. And so, yeah, I had a bigger portion, but that's all I ate that day. <laughs> People were going 
going batshit crazy because I had a little bit of extra roast beef. And the other thing to note is, you see my plate at the beginning of the meal. You don't know if I didn't finish it or, and actually that day I gave two of those pieces to Rob. Um, so you don't see that. You don't see what I do after I initially show you what I'm eating. So I don't understand why people are like, well, this is why you can't lose weight, blah, 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 blah. You're blaming it on everything else. I've never really blamed it on anything else other than my medication. And people will tell you, you can go look it up on the internet for yourself, go Dr. Google, that insulin and Lyrica at 300 milligrams will make you gain weight. And that's what started because if you've been with me, since the beginning, you've seen, like the whole 2018 was like, what the hell is going on? This is what I'm eating and my blood sugar shouldn't be this elevated. So it's been a hard time with medicine. I mean, and I lost weight, I lost 75 pounds and unfortunately I've gained almost all of it back. But I'm working on getting back down. That's, I'm just, I'm just on a journey. It's, there's, this is not a sprint, this is a marathon. I mean, I'm taking my time. I'm doing it the way I want to do it. And yeah, you don't have to eat the way I eat. And the other thing is someone's like, well, that's too much butter. Keto is a high fat diet, right? Right? Right. When I'm eating chicken breast and green beans, there's basically little to no fat in either one of those. So I cut up a half a stick of butter and I put butter on it. God forbid. <laughs> So when I share our weekly dinners, I'm not saying here eat this or here this is the perfect way to do keto or here, you know, this is the only way that you can do keto. This is like, hey, this is a meal idea that maybe you can do. And I, chicken and frozen chicken, grilled prepared chicken and green beans has somehow become a go-to meal because it's exactly what I had last night too. I'll grow tired of it like I do, but at the end of the day, what I'm eating <laughs> it's like don't don't pre don't pretend that you that you know you know you know what you know because I tell you what you know about me right so again you don't know if, if I'm eating all of it it may be my only meal of the day and at the end of the day it's not really your business and don't tell me that you're trying to say shit because you care about me bullshit <laughs> So I'm glad we took care of that. So I'm gonna continue posting my weekly dinners and I put keto and low carb for a reason. Some nights I eat really great clean keto. And one night last, actually two nights last week, I was on the verge of the mental breakdown that you saw on Wednesday and I wanted to binge on carbs. So I have always said that if you come to a point where you feel like you need something to help you over the hump, pick the lesser of two evils. I got a pizza and I scraped the toppings off. I had um, cheese dip and chili with pork rinds when I really wanted to uh, Uber eat on the border and have chips and queso. So I'm doing what I can do to make sure that I'm staying the course. And that might mean, you know, things aren't 100% clean keto all the time, but that's okay, right? It's my journey. I'm just sharing ideas with you. Hopefully we got that out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully a lot is out of the way. So let's talk about the wound care doctor. I went and saw the wound care doctor on Friday. If you didn't know, I had a laminectomy on October 8th, 2019. Um, November 11th, my incision opened back up. December 4th is when I finally got in to see wound care. December 23rd, I graduated from wound care because my incision closed. And then one day, I think it was last Sunday, it opened up again. So went and saw the wound care doctor and it's opened in two spots. And for some reason, they don't numb me with lidocaine before they start poking around in there. And one of the spots, you guys, <laughs> It hurt like surgery, like it hurt so bad. And she was like, "There." she's like, you shouldn't be hurting this badly. And she's like, look at this. And she, showed, and she had like a pencil lead. She's like, it's no bigger than this pencil lead. She's like, there's no reason for you to be hurting that badly. And the only thing I can figure is because that there must have been a nerve, like it's on a nerve or by a nerve. 
and it's one of those nerves that's been really irritated with the sciatica, that's the only thing I can figure. Um, because the bigger spot, it didn't bother me at all, but that little tiny spot, holy Jesus, Mary and Josephine, it hurt so bad. So before they were just using collagen, um, like it's like a foam and it was dry and then we would put silver adenate on it which is like a fabric ribbon and then we would cover it with the silicone bandage and she was changing it every three days so that's what we were doing um now she's using a collagen that you have to wet before you insert it and i'm supposed to be doing home health again but i haven't heard from home health and i called them on monday and they said they hadn't received the orders so called the clinic on Monday, the wound care clinic, and they were closed for MLK Day. <laughs> Here in the States, I was like, okie dokie. So I called them today and they said that they sent the orders over on Friday. And I said, I called home health. They said they didn't receive them. So they're supposed to fax them today. But my incision, the wound hasn't been, the dressing hasn't been changed at all. It's supposed to been changed last this past Monday, but it hasn't been because I'm not asking Rob to do that. Um, if it was just where we we're just laying something on top of it, that's not such a big deal. And he did that for me last week. But if we have to wet something with a saline solution and he has to insert it with a Q-tip, I'm like, no. <laughs> I love him. He cannot handle that kind of stuff. And I'm not going to make him go through it. So hopefully by Friday, um, I will have my... Um, incision cleaned so the other thing that I have to do so that's Monday Wednesday and Friday so I can only shower on Monday Wednesday and Friday which I hate but it is what it is so I use Tagaderm I think I mentioned that last week and um, if I can remember I'll throw up a picture and it's basically just a large sheet of plastic it's the same stuff that they put on IVs so if you've ever been in the hospital and you've ever had an IV that kind of tape that they put on um, you can get really large pieces, and that's what I that's what I put on my back. Um, the other thing that I have to do is wear my abdominal binder, and I'll post a picture of that too. It's basically a girdle. So um, what she said was the scar tissue in that incision is very very thin at the epidermal layer. I'm guessing that's the top layer, and and I didn't, she's like, what did you do? I said, absolutely nothing. I said, I've been, I've barely been able to move because of the sciatica. I said, I did absolutely nothing. I mean, I could, I cannot think of anything that I would do that would cause it to do that. So she wants me to use the binding every day for the next three months. And I'm just like, God dang it. <laughs> it's number one, it's uncomfortable. But number two, it's a bitch to put on by myself. And so, and, you know, I had to order another one because it gets kind of stinky. And so I've spent $70 on abdominal binders just so I can have, you know, a couple so we can wash it every other day or whatever. So that's, that's been, that's been so fun. So fun. But I go back and see her next Friday. I see, um, I was hoping we could get it on Thursday because I'm already going to be over there to see the um, nurse practitioner for my neurologist. So, but so next Thursday I go see the neurologist, nurse practitioner, and then on Friday I see the wound care doctor again. Um, as far as the neurologist, I'm going to ask if there's something that we can add in addition to the Lyrica. Um, if there's something we can switch to from the Lyrica, um, it's just not effective anymore. I mean, it's fine right now because I'm not dealing with as much inflammation, but it's just, I don't know. I just feel like I want something different. The only other one I was on was Grillis, which is a Caesar medication. Um, and the problem with that is I literally felt like I was a stroke patient because I could like I couldn't find words um, I would call something like I, I think I've told the story before my niece was here and she, We had eaten Chinese food and I went to hand her a fortune cookie I was like do you want this ice cream cone and that was pretty common like and I'm I still feel like I'm suffering from short-term memory loss because of that medication so it's not one I want to go on um, a lot of people go on Cymbalta for nerve pain. Cymbalta made me suicidal, so I'm not going back on Cymbalta. Um, 
yeah, I mean, it's just been, it's just kind of been one thing after another as far as the, the nerve pain medicine. So hopefully we can get something figured out. Um, but all in all, I find, I feel like it's been a successful week. I mean, not having to deal with that sciatica pain is like the biggest blessing ever because I mean, I honestly wouldn't worse, I wouldn't wish that on the worst internet troll, like my worst enemy. I would never wish for someone to deal with that kind of pain because you know, like I said, it just, you just get to a point where it's like, you cannot handle it anymore. It just wears you down mentally and emotionally and physically. So one last thing I want to talk about, um, I've gotten several comments about how all I ever talk about is what's wrong with me. And I don't know if you guys follow Taylor, she's a beauty guru, but she's dealt with chronic illness since she was like 14 or 15. She has really bad migraines. She just recently had sinus surgery. You know, she's off to the Mayo Clinic in June. And I wish I, may, I wish I can insert what she talked about one day, but she was talking about, you know, her surgery and, you know, she was like, it just, she's like, it, people were like, you know, just don't worry about it. And she's like, it affects every single moment of your day. Every single moment of your day. So I can't help but think about it. I can't help but it be in my forefront. I can't help but talk about it because it's 100% my journey. And if you guys don't want to listen to that, then just, you know, maybe I'm just not the channel for you. But, you know, my body is going through it and it's on the forefront of, you know, every thought. The minute I wake up, it's like, how do I feel? Do I feel like I need a lidocaine patch? You know, do I need to take some tramadol? Should I, um, do I need to run myself down? Do, you know, it's like, am I going to, do I need ice? Do I need the, it's like a never ending, it's this never ending thing. And like today I took a shower and I was trying to, um, I have a, I don't know if it's medicated, but I have a shampoo for a dry scalp and you have to wash your hair twice. And sometimes it's re and then you have to use the conditioner afterward. And I, I wasn't sure I was going to make it because there are some days holding my arms up like that is really troublesome. I did my makeup today. It took me an hour and a half to do, which is probably a more basic look. I literally put blush and a highlighter on my lids and then the longest part was slapping on these um, castor oil lashes. <laughs> but you know, I, I wish that I had a different life that didn't involve so many illnesses and so many trips to the doctor and just, you know, it's just, unfortunately that's just not my life that's just not my journey so if that's not something you have to deal with I mean count your blessings because man oh man if I could turn back time I I would not take a minute of it for granted and I still don't I mean every morning that I wake up is you know even though I deal with pain at least I'm still here I'm still with my husband you know those kinds of things so um yeah, I mean, I just feel like I'm in a much better place this week than I was last week. Um, it didn't go to therapy today. My, um, Like I said, it's really raining and cold today. And my therapist texts me like at 8. And he's like, do you want to stay home because of the weather? And I was like, yeah, that sounds fine to me. Um, not having to get out in it is perfect for me. So, um, like I said, unfortunately, you know, I have to make those kinds of concessions. But that cat. She's going crazy. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it for me today, guys. I have no idea how long I've been talking because can't see anything without my glasses on. But I have a video that is going live Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time. And it's a new series that I'm starting on this channel called Fry Yay or Fry Nay. <laughs> it's basically a review slash commentary video that I'm going to try to do twice a month. Um, the first video is reviewing Premier Protein Shakes, so make sure you, you keep an eye out for that. I have been, I just made one last night, um, Caramel Hot Chocolate, and I show you what I do, or talk to you through what I do um, in that video on Friday. So it's not going to be something that I do every week, but it's something I'm going to try to do twice a month. So when um, leave comments on that video letting me know. Um, because it's going to be review, but also comment, you know, commentary on, you know, controversial topics in the low carb or keto community or, you know, the weight loss community, etc. So, hope you guys have 
a, an amazing week. Um, I know some people had a four-day week, so happy you. Rob had to work. In fact, he had to work overtime. So his busy season has officially started. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild ride until about June first. So yeah. So all right, guys, that's it. I'm rambling. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your kind comments last week. I read every single one of them and then replied to as many as I could. But yeah. So that's it. See you for, next. See you next week. <laughs> Bye for now. La, 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 la. You're welcome.